Hi, it's Karen the Weekend Craftaholic and I've got something very different for you today. My daughter and I recently went on a trip over to Melbourne, um, just a short weekend break, and I thought I would give you a little glimpse of a trip, some of the craft stores over there, and also a little bit of a look at what Melbourne's like for the um, for my viewers that have not been, because it is absolutely a beautiful place to visit. So we start off here, this is our little trip into the airport at Perth, Terminal 3. It has been so long since we've travelled on a plane, it really Really has that it has been a bit of an adventure you can see here um, it was roughly about seven o'clock in the morning so that it was just starting to go light and this is the terminal itself so today's video is broken up into three sections arriving in Melbourne at some of the craft stores a little bit of view of um, some of the stuff that I bought wasn't too much because of the weight limit um, and then if you want to stick around right till the end you'll see the real reason we went to Melbourne you'll see some of the things we got up to so that was the city as you can see this was the view from our apartments first time we've stayed here and I definitely would recommend it's in a great location and as you can see the view of the Arrow River and the city itself is absolutely stunning so this is right near the aquarium if you do know Melbourne and not too far at all from there so beautiful view beautiful location and it was great service as well love any city at night so I'm just showing a few photos that I took from the balcony you can see here as it was going dark and then again when it was actually dark absolutely gorgeous in fact I did my first ever TikTok video of it you can see this here um, with just a little bit of music and um, yeah I just loved it I was sat on the balcony drinking then we spent a day, just one day, hitting some of the shops. This is me. Now, Daiso isn't strictly a craft store, but um, they have lots of cheap products that you can use in your crafting. A full shelf here of washi tape, as you can see. Most of them are set prices. Um, as you can see here, almost every price is just $3.10. And some, some items are more, but they're labeled if they are differently. So here, a great selection of ribbons, tissues, pom-poms, and um, I'm just showing you now as well, just some more of the shells. So this is the tissue wrapping paper. There's quite a lot here, actually, that I would recommend if you've never been to try it out. We've recently got um, just one day so store in Perth. It is over an hour's drive from where I live, so I thought I'd take advantage whilst I'm here and have a look around. There's quite a lot of Daiso stores in the centre of Melbourne. This one was the one that was closest to where we were staying. But again, because of my weight allowance, I didn't um, take advantage and buy too much stuff. But I will show you what I did get from Daiso later. Out of all the craft stores that I visited, this is probably the one that had the most variety. You can see here it's got the papers as well as the storage. So lots of different things to have a look at and very affordable as well. I'm assuming it's a bit like the Dollar Tree that I see a lot of in YouTube videos from America. This store was recommended to me, Book Barn is designed by Plum Mashable. Thank you very much. I'm so glad I managed to find it. It was a very tiny store and it was quite busy, so I didn't feel comfortable taking an actual video whilst I was in there but again I will show you later the goodies that I got from there. Extreme to the other I could have bought so much stuff in bookbinders but when I came to Linkcraft I was very disappointed. There wasn't a lot of stock at all so I feel like they're phasing out some of the paper crafting stuff. The store that we did have in Perth um, local to me has been gone a long time so we no longer have a Linkcraft in Perth which is one of the reasons why I wanted to check it out whilst I was in here. They did have some good stuff. This is the, probably the, uh, my favourite part of it. To be honest, is they had quite a big selection of punches, as you can see. But again, I have my weight allowance, so I wasn't really going to take advantage of that. Now we're going to move over to Muji. Again, not particularly a craft store, but definitely somewhere you can get a lot of stationery and storage from. And I did pick up quite a few goodies from here, including one of my favourite purchases, which was a storage case, which I will zoom in on um, in a second to show you that. But I love these little albums that you can construct yourself, as well as this little case which you'll see I did go back a second time to the store because whilst I was here looking at this I was in two minds but I did go back and buy it now Kiki K we do have this in Perth and I absolutely love this store if you're a planner this is the place to go they've got some amazing products so definitely check out that store if you get a chance to in future 
Now this one I was really looking forward to, Kaiser Craft. Again, we've recently got one in Perth, but it is a better and I was dry from me, so I haven't been. The last time we came to Melbourne, which was probably three or four years ago, I managed to buy a heap of stuff from Kaiser Craft. I absolutely love it. They do some great products. They sell it locally in um, Spotlight near me, as well as in my local scrapbooking store, The Lovered Scrap. So I do pick up quite a few of their products now and again. But this store, for example, has got this massive section, clearance section, where you can get some really good bargains. I didn't actually find any bargains though. I didn't walk away with anything from this store whatsoever. But as always, I enjoyed having a wander around and seeing what was on offer. So those are all the craft stores that I visited. I want to show with you now what I came away with. Hope you enjoyed that little tour of Melbourne and just a few of the craft shops that I went into. I'm sure there is much more, but that's all that I had time for. And I just wanted to show you some of the goodies that I got while I was there as well. So first of all, and this is probably the biggest and my most favourite, is this little storage case, acrylic case from Muji. It was also 10% off, so I got a bit of a bargain. And as you can see, it's quite large. It's 10 inch by 7 inch. So um, it's got three little drawers. They did have bigger ones, but this was all I could fit in my hand luggage. And because I was only allowed seven kilos as well uh, in total, I didn't go too crazy, but I did get a few things. So this was kind of the biggest one that I got. Also managed to get from Muji some of these dividers. So I got five of these. And my plan is to use these for just paper storage. So these are just like an A4 size. You can see that it just says the clear case with a gusset vertical tab let me just show you i have been using these from avery they're just um pocket envelopes i think closed on three sides with a little tab at the top and this is where i've been keeping on my speciality paper and um, white paper label just so i know what is what these are very thick but these work out at just over two dollars sixty i think each in the packs um they are worth it because they're very thick these are only one dollar fifty so i thought i would um give these a go see how they compare um let me take one out of packaging for you so definitely not as thick these are more like the little pocket envelopes that i got from uniquely creative for my sentiment strips but I think these will definitely be thick enough. Um, you see they actually do expand a little bit as well. These will be great for the things I don't use too much, like the magnetic paper or the vellum or acetate. Um, and that way I can repurpose the ones that I've got um, for pure paper in the thicker ones that I do get out quite a lot of the time. So I just picked up five of those. If not, I'm sure there's other uses for them. Like some of my digital kits that I've printed, for example, will be great in here because it, it does have this little closing on top as well that I can keep everything safe if I've got little die cut bits and so on. So picked up those. And the last thing I picked up while I was in Muji um, was this little book. So they have, this is A5 size, they've got A4. And you can basically make your own binder. So this one comes off. I got the acrylic cover of the polypropylene cover, I should say. Um, and you can see again different coloured dividers for them as well. So these have got little tub, tubs at the top. Um, and then um, grid paper to go in as well. But because this is easy enough to keep opening and closing and removing stuff, I thought this would be a great little pickup. And there was, like, I think this was $4, these were just a couple of dollars, and there are lots of different packs. I got the grid paper, but they had dots, blanks, um, calendar, they had lots of lots of different ones. That was the last thing I got from Muji. And you would have seen in my video, I also went to Daiso, which is not technically a craft store, but I did manage to pick up some of the these little alpha stickers as well so these were three dollars ten or three dollars twenty each always need gold love the fact that it's got numbers on always need black i love the font on them as well and then they even add these little puffy stickers as well which i love so these don't have the numbers on but that's fine i can live with that and you know even the fact that that they are just silver means i could um cover over in a different colored ink if i wanted to um, so I'm glad to get these from Daiso. That's the only thing I picked up craft related from there. Last I was in Kiki K. Again, and the theme of stickers. These are all number stickers. So as you can see, they're only a dollar each. Not sure what the original price. Oh, so these should have been $8 each actually. So that's quite a lot, isn't it? And it does say there's over 140 of them. They did have alphas as well, but I do have heaps and heaps of alphas. I never have enough numbers, which is why I decided to pick these up. 
Oh, and there's a little symbol sheet as well. There you go, that's cute. Six of each number in those. So they will be added to my little pile. And as you can see, I got the gold. I think this was the rose gold. And then the trusty black, which you can never have too many of. And then the last thing that I got, and this was from the bookbinder store. And thank you Plum Mashables again for recommending that place. And I found it by chance actually. I searched for it and then stumbled across it. This is something I have been wanting for so long, honestly. Cannot tell you. I want you to see just how tiny this is when I do. And I got the refills for it as well, so that's what that is. So hopefully you can kind of see just how small that is. And I presume we just push it down, yep. And it pops open. Let me put it against, put it against the dirt. So can you see that popping out? Um, yeah, just a little eraser, but it is super tiny, so it's going to be great. And the refills were super cheap as well. They were $5 for two of those. That is going to last me forever. The thing I got from Bookbinders were these Zebra Mad Liners. So I've already got some of these that you might have seen in one of my videos um, a few months ago. I decided to get these because I wanted this grey colour. Let me just open these and get them out for you. Have a better look. So if you've not seen these before, these are just highlighters. But what I love about them is that on one end you've got a thick um, chisel tip and the other end is quite fine as well. So you can do different highlights with these. Let me just show you on here, for example. Do a nice thick one or you can do a nice uh, thin one as well. These can go in my pencil case from my planning stuff. So some more colours. I'm really pleased I managed to get those as well. That is my little craft haul from Melbourne. Absolutely loved exploring all of those shops. It was a great way to spend a day, although I was absolutely exhausted uh, with all the steps we did. So the tram around the centre is free, so that saved our legs. But if you want to stick around and see what else I got up to us in Melbourne, I'm going to show you some photos now and again a little bit of voiceover um, and show you the real reason why we went to Melbourne. So on the Friday night, my daughter and I attended an NRL game. This is the Rugby League. And you can see this was the Storm vs Broncos. So Melbourne Storm vs Brisbane Broncos. Storm is actually my daughter's team. Broncos are mine. It was a fantastic match. We had a great view. It was a little bit cold being um, in winter. Um, and unfortunately, Broncos lost. You can see here, I still felt like a winner because I could actually get a gluten-free lager and gluten-free pie reason we went was to see the musical six this was the opening weekend of the show i know it's had great reviews over in england my daughter absolutely loves the songs so we managed to get tickets for that the theater across the road was actually showing hamilton so my daughter popped in she was able to get half price tickets fantastic view here it is at the dress circle before the performance began so she was absolutely delighted to see that on the sunday matinee while i went just back to my room and had a nice couple of hours chilling and reading if you enjoyed that little insight of melbourne if you'd love to see something similar in perth i'm happy to do the same in the local stores here but i hope you enjoyed watching that we had a fantastic cliff on weekend and i hope you do too